Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, beloved viewers at home. I welcome you all to the presence of God this morning. Today is Sunday, the 24th day in the month of March 2024. And also Palm Sunday. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we appreciate you sincerely for giving us another grace to witness this beautiful day. The 24th day in the month of March 2024. And today being Palm Sunday the day Jesus triumphant entering to Jerusalem. We thank you for your humility demonstrated for our own sake, thereby giving us victory over sin and death. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, we confess all our sin before you this morning in all areas of our lives where we have sinned against you. Father, please forgive us by your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray as we meditate in your word this morning. Lord, minister to us and give us the heart to understand your word and give us the enablement to be the doers of your words. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. This morning, our test is taken from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John, chapter 12 beginning from verse 12 to 22. Gospel according to our Lord Jesus Christ. Gospel of St. John, chapter 12, verse 12 to 22. I read, On the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches or palm trees, and went forth to meet him and cried, O Sana, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, sat thereon as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, the king cometh, sitting on an ass court. These things understood not his disciples at the first. But when Jesus was glorified, then remember that these things were written of him, and that they had done these things unto him. The people therefore that was with him, when he called Nazareth out of his grief, and raised him from the dead by record. For this cause the people also met him, for that the year that he had done this, miracles. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing, behold, the word is gone after him. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip, which was at Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, you will see Jesus. Philip comment and telleth Andrew, and again, Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Today, Palm Sunday, the day Jesus triumphant entry into Jerusalem. We thank you for your humility demonstrated as we celebrate Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Also, we celebrate his power over sin, over Satan, and over death. We celebrate Jesus today for the humility demonstrated for our salvation. In the world, one of the major ways kings and wealthy men of this world demonstrate influence is by riding 
exotic cars. They ride on exotic cars. These are the ways of the earthly rich. In other ways, people of this world demonstrate their power, their authority, their influence, popularity, and personality is by riding the most expensive cars. They can even buy private jet travel from one place to another. They go to parties on many occasions and spend money lavishly, spray money because they want to be recognized by people and this against the mind of God. This against the mind of God towards us, especially as a child of God. However, Jesus the King of Kings demonstrated his own personality by humility. He rode on a donkey cart and not in a chariot drawn by a horse, which could reveal his majesty. He shone the show and chose a humble way. The court he rode on was even borrowed. We can see Jesus' humility. Out of his humility, he rode on a donkey cart to prove his humility, to prove his simplicity for mankind. Choose a humble way. Jesus refused to go in the ways of the world, but emptied all the glory he shared with the Father for him to fulfill the purpose of God on earth to save mankind from sin. Jesus came down from heaven in our own likeness, in our own image. He stooped so low to give us salvation, to give us victory over eternal condemnation. Let us see 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his power might be rich. We, his followers and ambassadors on earth, should follow his path of humanity. As a child of God, as Christians, as followers and ambassadors of Christ Jesus, it is expected of us to follow his path of humanity, to follow his path of humanity in our thoughts, in our dreams, and in our way of life. People must see us and see Christ in us. That is the only way world can testify that truly we are followers and children of God. The only way to do this is through Jesus Christ. Because without Christ, we can do but nothing. We cannot be his true followers. We cannot be his ambassadors. So therefore, we need Christ. We need to surrender our life. We need to surrender our possession. We need to surrender our popularity. We need to humble ourselves with everything God has endowed us. Don't intimidate your fellow human being because of your money. Don't intimidate your friends because of your possession. 
even as a boss in a place of work. Humble yourself. Be humble to your co-workers, both the junior ones and your senior. Everyone, don't use your money against people. Don't use your popularity, your wealth to destroy people's life because you have money or because of your position in the society. Today, Jesus demonstrated humility. He has power to tell the world that truly is the Messiah, but he chose to humble himself. Let us know this, that our humanity in the church, our humanity in the place of work, our humanity in the neighborhood does not remove his glory from our lives. That does not remove the glory of God from our life. When we humble ourselves, the law will respect us. That doesn't remove his glory. It doesn't remove his power in our life, but rather hurts more. Psalm 138 verse 6. Psalm 138 verse 6. Though the law be high, yet at in respect unto the lonely, but the proud in no head are far off. I take it again. Thou the law be high, yet at in respect unto the lonely, but the proud in no head are far off. Humble yourself, let us humble ourselves, and God will lift you. The Lord will lift us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Let us turn to God. Lord, please give me the spirit of humanity that I may live a life that pleases you. Lord, give me the spirit of humanity that I may live a life that pleases you. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us turn to God. Lord, please give me the spirit of humanity. Give me the spirit of humanity that I may live a life that pleases you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we pray and we ask, give for the spirit of humanity that in everything we do, people may see you through us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Jesus' name. Thank you and God bless you. Happy Palm Sunday. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.